Uh, for the community, the fun of it and uh, the import scene getting is really big. I've been involved in it for 14 years, so it's been really good to me. What exactly is the import scene? Uh, the import scene is basically my definition of it is uh, anything besides domestic markets like Ford, Chevy, um, stuff like that. Right. And um, basically, everybody here comes around and uh, just shows off a different kind of trend compared to muscle cars and stuff like that with uh, affordable base cars. What kind of car do you have? I own a 2005 Scion XB. Okay, what have you done here? Um, basically, what I have done is uh, a body kit, a carbon fiber body kit, um, leather interior, custom serial system, bike rack, um, an intake, stuff like that. Basically, more appealing to the car, add more, add more appearance to it. More for the appearance, not so much. Do you exactly. race or what do you do? Oh, absolutely no, no racing whatsoever. Showing? How many shows have you been to? Uh, in 14 years, I'd probably say almost 100. Uh, yeah. How many cars have you fixed up? Uh, this is my third one. Yeah, my first one was a 90, 98 Honda Civic, and then from there I bought a 2002 BMW, and then that car wasn't practical anymore, so I bought a Scion XB and loved it. And this is your main car you drive? Uh, yes, it is. Yes. This is driven every day. Every day? Every day. Now, can you show us like the engine? Is there anything special? Yeah. How long did it take you to fix this one up? Um, it took me about a good, a good year. Here? Yeah. A lot of money, sponsors. <laughs> uh, both, both sponsors and uh, both sponsors in my pocket as well. Uh -huh. So when you win one of these type of events, like what do they go off of? What do they base your, you know? Versus? Basically, all judges are different. It's all based on what what they like and what catches their eye, based on appearance and uh, how the car presents itself. And uh, display wise, like uh, I decide to bring trophies and uh, bring a copy of the billboard that I have here in front of my car. And um, that's basically it. Just show it off. Do and, uh, you do each car is like, gathered together in different categories? Or is oh yeah, yeah. Every car is different. Like uh, my car would fall into the street category. Any car with a custom paint would fall into a wild or custom category. So it kind of makes it more fair. How many trophies do you have? Um, roughly about uh, 16 to 20. Wow. Yeah. Excellent. Want to show us the inside? Oh yeah, sure. On the inside, I have a detachable Momo steering wheel. I have a custom leather and suede interior. Um, painted uh, black trim uh, to match to add some more accent to the car. Um, an energy quick release uh, to take out the steering wheel um, for security purposes. For my reason, um, I have uh, two 13-inch uh, TV flip downs in the back, and then I have two 7-inch uh, TVs in the in the window vi in the sun visors. How handy are those while you're driving? I don't know. I don't do that. <laughs> against <laughs> against the law. Yeah, you have these little custom things right here? Yeah, it represents the XB right there. It's a little XB design on top of the door lock. I thought it was kind of cool to like uh, enhance the inside a little bit more. What's the Alpha Squad? Alpha Squad is a team that, I, that uh, me and my friends have come, come and put together. It's an all scion team in Southern California, Northern California, and San Diego. Do you mainly show in California? Uh, no, I actually uh, I, I, I kind of enhanced it more. Uh, I go to Arizona. Nevada, Northern California, and uh, hopefully in the Pacific Northwest real soon. What really got you into showing your car? Uh, basically, in the, four, the the 10 plus years I've been doing it, um, basically my friends got me back into it. They're really inspiration to it, and uh, Sion as a general community, they embrace every every owner to it. So it kind of keeps me going. So it doesn't look like I'm be going anywhere anytime soon. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nissan 240SX. Uh, people refer to it as the S14, which is the chassis code. It's completely modified. Uh, almost nothing is left original. Uh, you know, suspension, the wheels, the tires, the interior, has a roll cage, has a Japanese motor. It's a SR20. Uh, that motor only was in uh, Japan. And ours is fully built, you know, pistons, cams, rods, cranks, everything. Like I work for Drift Speed, you know, our sponsor is Drift Speed, and you know, we get all that parts. Yes, uh, they're still on their uh, their first uh, 
it's a tournament bracket, so they just finished their first bracket. Uh, IRA went out, and I, I won the first bracket, so we're going into the second bracket pretty soon. Um, drifting is pretty fun, and it's really exciting. If you've never done it, you got to hop in the car, try it sometime. Really? It's very exciting. How long have you been doing that for? Uh, since I was like 17, I'm 23 now. So, uh, did you start by fixing your cars up, or how did, that, how did you start? I started with a 84 Toyota Supra. It was automatic. My dad gave it to me, and I blew up the transmission trying to drift it. Uh, that was before I really knew anything about cars and drifting. So I crashed it a couple times. I broke the transmission. My dad never told me never he'll never give me a car again. And then uh, the next car I got, I bought it from my friend. It was a 84 okay. Nissan Sentra. I bought it for 100 bucks. It was front-wheel drive. It was bad at drifting. But, it, I mean, it got me through, and then eventually I bought a 240. Okay. And that's where I started, you know, getting into drifting more, going out to events. And, you know, all it takes is practice, you know, to go out there. How much money do you have in this car? I personally have no money in this car. Sponsored? It, it's, uh, it's a shop car. Okay. It's, it's not my personal car. Um, but this car is probably worth at least 50 grand. So um, you don't personally, you don't, do you own this? Or you I don't own it. Oh. This is a shop car. They, like, give it to you just to... They say, here's a car for you to drive. Uh -huh. You drive for us. I work for them, too. Is it hard adjusting to different cars? Um, it takes a little while to get really good at it. Um, I'm decent enough that I can jump into most cars and drift it okay. But to be really competitive, I have to get you know, a good amount of seat time. How do you learn how to drift? Uh, like I said, you know, just go, go out to events, practice. You know, when I, when I first started, I came out to like, events like this and had instructors sit with me. I couldn't do donuts. I couldn't do nothing. And you know, just step by step, took me like a year or two to, to even get close to being competitive. Just, you know, just keeps on, keep on trying, keep on going out there, getting practice. How many events have you drifted in tournaments at? Uh, lots, what? lots and lots. Uh, I think the first event I've ever won was in like '03. So it's just you know, here and there. What are you looking to see by the end of the night? What are you hoping for? We come to win. Uh, I'm not going to lie, uh, we're probably the you know, car with most power and sponsors, you know. Well, is it, does it all depend on the driver or is it the car as well? It's both. Uh, this, these, this kind of coursing, it's uh, a lot of driver skill. It's a really short course, really technical. Um, there's diff different kinds of drifting. This one's uh, Jimkama. It's kind of like an autocross slash drifting. Um, then there's like actual like full speed drifting. Um, our last event was Las Vegas. And there I hit uh, my fastest entry speed was 92.3 miles an hour. So you go like almost 100 and you pitch it sideways at a wall, pretty much. Have you ever rolled? I've never rolled, but like I said, I wrecked totaled one car completely. And I've, I've wrecked a couple of my cars too, my personal cars. Awesome. Well, good luck and hope please first. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, that wraps up this episode of Behind the Room. I'm Kristen Angon. See you next time. Last night, one of what has become the signature event of the whole weekend is what we call the strip cruise. So we took just under 300 cars down to the south end of Las Vegas Boulevard, just, this, just north of the Welcome to Las Vegas sign. And then we stopped traffic on Las Vegas Boulevard and put them all out on the strip in a group.